I'm Andrew Clark. I've been conducting research at the UML Space Science Laboratory under the mentorship of Dr. David Wexler and Professor Paul Song. The project uses Parker Solar Probe data to demonstrate the solar wind mass flux relationship. The modern theory of solar wind has its origin in Eugene Parker's 1958 paper describing spherically symmetric outflowing ionized gas emanating from the sun. This animation helps visualize the solar wind. In it, we see the sun emitting charged particles in a spherically symmetric manner. Mass flux is a foundational concept in Parker's theory. For the solar wind, it represents the number of particles emitted from the sun per unit time. The solar wind mass flux is given by the equation Vsw times Np times r squared equals constant, as units of particles per second. The V term is the radial component of the solar wind velocity in meters per second. Np is the proton number density in number of particles per cubic meter. And r is the heliocentric radial distance in solar radii. The r squared term comes from the spherically symmetric nature of the solar wind. Because of this, we can calculate the flux by considering the number of particles which pass through the surface of a hypothetical sphere with radius r centered about the sun. Because the surface area of said sphere is proportional to r squared, the solar wind mass flux is as well. The Parker Solar Probe is a space probe launched by NASA in 2018 with a mission to study the solar corona and magnetic field. We test the validity of the mass flux relation by using in situ solar wind measurements from the Parker Solar Probe's seventh orbital encounter in January 2020. We use radial velocity and proton density data collected by PSP in inbound and outbound segments over a heliocentric distance range from 25 to 65 solar radii to compare the solar wind mass flux density in particles per second per square meter with a scaled inverse square curve of R. I want to quickly highlight the difference between mass flux and mass flux density. Mass flux has units particles per second and describes the total number of particles the sun emits per unit time. Mass flux density has units particles per second per square meter and describes the number of particles passing through a unit of area in a unit of time. Finally, we display a log-log plot with the heliocentric radial distance on the x-axis and the mass flux density on the y-axis. In light blue is the inbound data set and in dark blue, the outbound data set. Both the inbound and outbound data sets generally demonstrate good agreement with the scaled curve of 1 over r squared. All three share a slope of negative 2. This is what Parker's theory predicts, as the flux density is proportional to 1 over r squared. There are some departures from the scaled inverse square curve indicating abrupt wind stream shifts with variable degrees of density and velocity change. This work provides a starting point for more detailed study of solar wind stream dynamics using spacecraft observations. Thanks for watching.